Hello everybody, welcome to part 10 of Scooby Performer series. In this part, I am going to show you how you can make a level manager where you can select a level and when you click on that button, that certain level will load. So let's get started. I'm going into the scene folder. Let's click on this level one and let's duplicate this level by pressing Ctrl D and i'm double clicking on this level 2 now we are in level 2 as you can see we are in the level 2 scene let's differentiate it from the level 1 by changing its background color you can do whatever you want all these backgrounds and changing its color to like something green so it's differentiate and let's duplicate level 2 again and i am going into level 3 let's get some background and change its color to fit red so we have three levels here and we want to create a can select any level and play that certain level so i'm going now saving this level 3 and uh, I am into the main menu. Let's duplicate this main menu scene and call this one level select. And double click on this level se select scene and go into the canvas, click BG, open it. Let's change the title to select level. Select. Level. Let's change these button stacks. So I'm gonna select, say, I'm going to call the start one is one, second one is two, and third one is three. So now we have three levels, and let's delete these two. And I'm going to duplicate this one here and again duplicate and i'm going to duplicate these all three again and drag it down and let's change these text so i'm gonna call this one two and this one i'm gonna call this one three four five and six so these are names of my level currently we have only three levels but you can add as many as you can let's create a script that handles these on click events now we have six buttons so we need to have six functions but that is a negative approach we need to have a one dynamic function that can handle all these buttons so what I'm going to do is I'm going into the script folder and uh, into the manager. Let's call this one level manager. Now I have this empty script here. I'm going to delete each and every text from it and I'm going to make a public function public void on click button and let's give it a parameter of n level and i'm going to include a library called scene management so i'm going to say unity using unity engine dot scene scene management management what happened to me and and what i'm going to say is scene manager dot load scene and let's say level underscore and then plus level so level is the parameter but we will pass from the button let's save it and delete this sound manager we don't need this one here and what happened 
load load scene. <coughs> let's save it now. <coughs> now let's create an empty object. Call this one level manager. Level manager and attach this level manager script and i am going to click all on these buttons and let's drag the level manager here and let's call the function on click end and now what we want is let's analyze the function that it asks asked for a parameter so now we want to load level one so i will pass it to one and for the two i'll pass it to for three i'll pass it three for level four i'll pass four and thus in the same way you can add whatever you want and uh, now what we are doing is we are taking that parameter here in level and we are concatenating it with level underscore and the number for example we pass it one and the resulted string will be level underscore one so let's uh, test it for that we need to add these levels into the build settings so i'm gonna click on this file and build settings and let's drag all these new created levels here so level two level three and let's save it and test it because we don't have level four five six but you can add them as well let's click on level two and level two is loaded and if i stop the game again let's play it again And let's click on level 3 as you can see that our level 3 is played so that's how you can play the uh, you can add let's play from start or from main menu let's click on this start button you can, see that here. you can see that the problem was whenever I click on the start button we load level 1 we want to load level select scene so what i'm gonna do is let's click on the main menu ui manager and let's load let's pass here level level select and for and for the testing purpose or for the assurity i'm gonna check whether the level select is, is in the build setting or not no it's not so let's drag it below the main menu let's play i'm going to mute the audio because it's too loud so if i'm going to click on the start button and what happened it's not working why is that let's see what happened let's let's save its name copy its name and paste it here and save it Let's click on the start button as you can see that we came into this level select and let's click on the level 3 as now you can see that we can move in the level 3 we can create it and customize this level and let's click here and quit and main and play it again let's play level 1 so let's go a bit far up and yeah so now if i click next i came back we can fix that by by changing the text of next button but that's it for this tutorial and i hope this 2d platformer series help you guys a lot and see you guys next time